Disclaimer, it's incredibly hot in the UK right now, so if you hear any blowing, then, uh, naughty, um, then it's the fan that's on over there. Not someone down there. Hey guys, and welcome into the Raxi Report. Okay, so I just want to say a humongous thank you to everyone that sent me questions for this Q&A series that I'm going to be doing. It's going to feature a lot of different questions that you guys have sent me, and it's going to be going into some pretty serious subjects. So if you want to learn about the trans community or anything LGBT related, then watch this series and most of your questions should be answered by an idiot. Well... I'm, I'm not exactly the one to be listening to here. I'm not exactly a professional, so if you want the answer but probably wrong, then uh, then stick with the series, yeah? The first question comes from D. Skellington. What's your favourite shop to visit when shopping? Mine's got to be the Disney store. Also, your dad's hair looks amazing. If my dad was here right now, he'd be dancing around the room. He loves compliments about his hair. I don't know if you can tell, but he he he's quite proud of it. He's quite proud of his hair. There's a picture of him with his hair. Very proud of it. Personally, my favourite shop to go to when I'm in town every Monday is CEX, which is actually pronounced SEX, and that's their official title for the store. And what it is, is just a load of video games, movies, tech, and loads of stuff. Very, very cheap. And I, I just love going in there and finding what new deals I can find every week. And it's it, it, it's a really good store. Um, but yeah, that's that's really my favourite store to go in. That and charity shops. I love thrift stores. Any thrift store where I can stumble across kind of like a, a hidden classic, especially old PC boxed games. I love that kind of thing. Go watch LGR Thrifts if you want to see more on that kind of thing. But I absolutely adore just looking through thrift stores and charity shops and stuff like that. Just to find crazy deals and stuff that I've never seen before. Trillion asks... When did you start transition? Have you ever had any particular problems with some side effects of the hormonal therapy? I started hormones in 2013 on December 24th. It was the day before Christmas. Um, so it was like a really awesome Christmas present. Um, so yeah, 2013. So I've been on them now about four years. Um, no, hang on. Two, see, maths is not my strong point. So comment down below how many years that's been. 20, 14, 27. So, three and a bit years. I did it, guys. I did maths. In terms of problems with hormonal therapy and side effects, I will say, uh, first and foremost, is anger, uh, depression, and... Um, outbursts, mood swings, I, I never used to get, like, riled up very easily, um, but when I started taking hormones, my moods changed a lot, um, it is true that when you start watching kind of, like, uh, sad movies that you cry a lot, and that, that's just the hormones messing around with your mood and making you more susceptible to sad things, um, but also, I get in a very bad state with um, anger. I can snap quite badly at people, and I, I don't see it happening. It just happens. Um, and depression has been brought on, I think, partly because of the place, the scenario that I'm in in my life. I'm, I'm in this situation where I can't really do anything. I'm basically at the whim of a gender clinic, which doesn't really do much. And I think that the hormone therapy has made that tenfold. So if you're starting hormone therapy, I will say make sure your mental state is in a good place before you start. Because if you are already depressive or um, anxiety ridden, or, or if you have something that you're struggling with at the time, it may be harder for you to be able to transition. Um, and I say that candidly because it's something that I want to put out there. It's it's not just, you take hormones and you become a woman. It's not that easy. And a lot of bigger channels on YouTube and a lot of more popular trans people make it seem that way. They're, oh, their life is fabulous. They have everything. They're, they're so happy with their completed transitions. And... For someone who is actually 
going through it and someone who's actually starting it's not easy at all and no one ever really seems to talk about that which is what I'm trying to clear up by doing these videos um I just I really hope that this makes sense to you um but yeah so definitely mood swings and stuff like that have been a pain and something that I wish weren't a factor but are C Nelson says could you tell us your first time going out in public in girl mode? I'm transitioning myself, but I am a bit of a nervous wreck to go out in public dress as my preferred gender, male to female. The first time that I ever went out in public as as Ellie in girl mode would have been um, when I first went to see the psychiatrist to get the all clear for starting to go to the gender clinic. Uh, here is a little clip of that. I have really good news. Um, I went to the psychiatrist today with my girlfriend and uh, we had a bit of a talk. He asked me loads of cool questions. Not really cool, they were really long and really drawn out and it took about an hour to do and he paused every couple of minutes which is really annoying but uh, he was doing it for effect I think. <laughs> and um, basically he said that uh, at the end of it he asked me those questions about how I'm feeling, what, am I a risk, uh, have I had any like major things happen to me that could have caused it, that kind of thing. And he said to me afterwards that basically he is willing, and is completely willing, and he's going to write me a brilliant reference and he's going to send it off to the uh, gender clinic. Huh? Yeah. So, that was the first time I remember going out. Uh, I did go out after that quite a lot. Going out for the first time is... Uh, it, if I remember correctly, no one, no one even noticed. And uh, I think you big it up in your own mind to be this terrifying thing of, of kind of like, oh God, everyone's going to look at me. Everyone is going to make fun of me. I'm going to get stared at when I walk along the street. Um, that wasn't the case. I maybe had like one person just give me a, an odd look, but... You're never going to see that person again, unless it's your friend. <laughs> Which is obvious. Uh, but <laughs> but it's it's something that it, it, we, big, we big ourselves up in our heads. We big this scenario up in our heads and make it worse. I think the, the most terrifying part of going out in public is public bathrooms. Public toilets uh, is, of course, a very scary subject and something that even I won't do now. Um, I can't go into the men's bathroom because I don't, I get looked at. I can't go into a male bathroom anymore, but I also don't feel like I can go into the women's because I don't feel like I look good enough to be able to go into the women's. So it, it's very, it's a very weird place, especially when you're midway through your transition. That is an awkward thing and it just gets in the way of your life. Um, what I would say is go toilet before you go out. <laughs> just go at home. But, uh, yeah, going out for the first time, it is scary, go for it, push yourself, go out with a friend, go out with someone that you know, that makes it a lot easier, it takes the tension away. Ziva says, what has been your biggest challenge and your biggest achievement since starting your transition? P.S. You are amazing and a beautiful and awesome. Oh, thank you Ziva, that's very nice, um, I, I tried to be awesome, this channel isn't awesome, it's, it's terrible, don't, it's unsubscribe, unsubscribe, no, don't. Please don't. Please, I, this is my living. I need to make money. The biggest challenge for me was coming out to my dad. Uh, that was the hardest thing. I, I think that I built it up in my head to be this terrifying thing that he wasn't going to accept me. Um, and he's never really talked about the LGBT community. He's not really ever been a part of it. He's never kind of mentioned it. So... I personally assumed that he was just going to be like, what? Uh, and uh, he didn't talk to me for a couple of days afterwards. Um, it was that build-up of, of trying to get that confidence to better tell him. I think any family member is going to be hard. It depends on how close you are to them. Um, I think him and my nan were the hardest people that I had to tell. And my nan was amazing and said basically oh thank god i thought it was money that you wanted um and my dad sat there with a piece of toast hanging out of his mouth um i i, I feel it's it's a 
it's a scary situation because depending on your family uh it can end terribly coming out uh can end terribly uh you can lose your entire family and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing because if they aren't accepting of you then they're not worth being around uh so in some ways it's a good thing um but coming out is the biggest challenge that I ever had to face. I've never had something in my life that's topped that um, at all. So, yeah, that's my biggest challenge. Biggest achievement. Now, this one, I have two. Um, first, getting the all clear for um, my SRS. Getting the all clear for the assessment. I think that's... that. I've been waiting five years for that. Well, five years of my transition. God knows how long before that. Um, I've been waiting a very long time, let's just say, for that. But it was the first time that I heard it. I was so ecstatic. I was so happy. And I was just... I was over the moon about it. Um, and my second biggest achievement... I... I I'd either say it was uh, my boyfriend, um, because honestly I never thought I would find anyone. Um, I was in a terrible way the last three years. Um, and yeah, he's been amazing and really supportive, and I, I, he's my greatest achievement. There you go. Um, but also, you guys, the channel, um, I never thought I would have this. I never thought I would have this, this, like this... This, this opportunity to be able to talk to so many people um, and be able to hopefully help you guys. And that's important to me and it's something that I, I, I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, so an achievement, it is. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back with part two very soon. I love all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the comments so far. Keep them coming. I, I could do an entire series for the entire month of June. Um, for this actually it, it, it makes sense and uh, any questions that you guys have you can keep sending in and I'll be able to answer them as we go at least then it gives me content to be able to do for you guys because otherwise I just kind of don't really know what to do um, so it's beneficial to me and you hopefully that we can keep doing this um, I love you all thanks for watching but until next time that's me out Vegas. <laughs>